say it might be a little controversial, but just be just be just be mindful. Like this is my opinion. This is what I see from a distance. You know, I'm, I go to the battles. I go by people's testimony. I hear what people be saying and shit. And I really, deep down in my heart, I really believe that Smack relationships with Smack White, who owns URL, whatever, his relationship with the battle rappers is kind of what hurts his brand in a way. And what I mean by that is like, no, that's just my opinion, man. Like, you know, let me preface my confidence, my comments by saying that I have nothing against Smack. You know, we here at Battle Talk Radio, we fucks with Smack. He's a cool dude. I think he want best for these battle rappers. Heart to heart, from heart to heart, I think he want the best for these battle rappers. He's like, he want to see them win. But at the same time, I think his relationship with most of these battle rappers kind of what hurts the game, his his brand in, in a way. That's just my personal opinion. And it's three reasons why I think that. And I, I want you to um, chime in on this too when I when I talk about these three reasons real quick. Okay. Um, one three, the three reasons why I want to talk about is like, it's something to be said about being professional and presentable. That's one thing, you know what I'm saying? Uh. Well, that's one of the things I want to talk about. That's that nigga shit right there. Accountability for these battle rappers. Like, I don't think it's never no accountability for them when they, like, end up coming late to the battles or some shit like that. Or, you know, when they do some crazy fucked up shit on the side and shit. Smack always feel like he's got to babysit them and bail them out or do some shit for them. And he shouldn't have to do that. We all grown men. You feel me? Um, Smack presentation. Like, his how you, how you present yourself is everything to me. You know, your presentation, how you rep yourself. What do you mean how he presents himself? Well, what I mean by that basically is like, you know, he's on stage, he's drinking an exclusive vodka, all you know, that dumb shit and shit. You, you, you one of the niggas, you one of the homies. They look at you as one of the homies so and shit. So what? Like, that's not, this is that environment. Right. Like, honestly, okay. like, I'm not saying so what, but he can, he can make it a little more classy, I guess, but that's how it started out. That's how it's, that's how it was. Like, so now because he's drinking at his own event that he paid for, that what? So now they can't respect him? Like, I didn't say on. they didn't that's respect his, him. That's his, that's his brand. Right. At first, he wasn't even in front of the camera there's, honestly there's nothing wrong with that but all i'm saying is that i i know some of how these street niggas think and these battle rappers niggas think and shit and when they look at please believe it smack i hate to say this and this might be controversial but if smack was like probably some white dude or professional dressed up or business like not playing with none of these battle rappers and not having no type of relationship with these niggas shit would be better like on point with some of these events and shit all the battles would be on time I'm all so the bl- battles niggas would come on you time you be do- no you agree yes, with that you don't agree with that jazz Real shit, like we're gonna address this, Jazz. Thank you, Jazz. She, I'm, gonna she have, I'm gonna have Trevor, you know, give his his um uh, opinion. Smack well. is like I said. I'm gonna preface my comments and say Smack is a cool dude. I fuck with him. Now I know he he wants these battle rappers to win, but at the same time, presentation is everything. They look at him as one of his peers, as a homie. They don't look at him as an authority figure or the commissioner of battle rapper shit. If he come off as a commissioner or a boss, so what? He wants now come to the battles with a fucking suit on. And, I don't and, think he should be smoking cigar. To, to be like, what the fuck no, 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 no. Like, to be honest, to be honest. To be honest, Stop it. to be honest, he's been doing this for over a decade and shit. Am I right or wrong? He's been doing this for years and shit. I don't even think he should be at the point he should be hosting battles anymore. If you Why? ask me. Yo, you the boss of this shit, man. Other people should be handling this shit for you, man. Niggas gotta respect you as the boss, man. If you really wanted these niggas to respect you, you ain't, you got niggas like Daylight coming after your battle say, if I don't get my 500, I'm gonna clap this shit up. What kind of niggas would do some shit like that? Only battle rappers that's comfortable with you and that don't really respect you as a man, he, they wouldn't do that, that shit. He didn't even know. He don't even know. That's like my that. whole point, though. They no, don't even so know him like so that so to be talking to him like that and they shit. They don't. So that's ignorant on Daylight's part, not on his part. I didn't say, you not, can't. But I'm not. What I, I preface my comments that I ain't got nothing against Smack. It's, it's not, not Smack about your personal it's opinion not smack about Smack. It's about that's ignorance amongst black people. It is. I right. agree. That's not on him, though. You can't say because he. But because it's he should do better. He should know better and do better. How? How would you have done well, it? I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna say how. How? When you, when you have these, you drink it right now me, on the on the radio show. No, I'm saying though. Question. Same thing though. Let you drink it on the radio show. Yeah, this is me. That's not professional. That's him. Not, you, that's not professional. You. I know I'm not being professional. Though. I want people not to be professional. Facts. Though. Don't do that. But I know I'm not being professional though. I know that already. That's, that's, I know so that already. So you, and I'm cool with that. That's asinine. I'm cool with that. How you gonna say that he can't be professional? I'm not trying to run Battleshow Radio. We're running Battleshow Radio. You understand? Is that really a defense? That's your defense? I'm not being a hypocrite. That's a fucking hypocrite. You know why I'm not being a hypocrite? What the- I said before, I said, I'm going to preface my comments and say, there's nothing wrong with... That has nothing. Your personal opinion about him as a person. I'm not coming at Smack, to- though. I'm not no coming at Smack. No one thinks you are. So let me answer the question, though. If he would go to the negotiation table with these battle rappers and say, listen, 
if you don't listen, if you late to this battle, you need to like you're gonna be docked this such and such money or whatever. Or if you're if you're not professional or you're not coming on time or if you're not doing this or you're not doing push up put some type of clause in the in the in the contract. You know what I'm saying? Clause in the contract is one thing, but you did not. You, what you said Clearly was. Clearly, he's not doing that because these bad rappers doing the same shit. No, over what and you over said and over again. was you uh, used him being a black man, a young black man, right? drinking on stage, saying do, that That's act, one thing that, I said. That's one. He actually comes late to his vids too. He does that too. If you're gonna set a tone and you expect bad rappers to come on time on the stage on on your events, you got to come on time yourself too. That's professional. That's facts. Now that I can agree with, but that's not it's what you. It's more shit to the game, like, like. No, but he you basically just think he said niggas. no. The point that I'm addressing. That's one thing I used. That was one example. I used. Right, and I'm using. You, you, you gave three. One of them is you. You tried to blame. This is what I hate about black people too. You tried to blame the fact that he's black and he presented the, he presented the platform. He's the first one who gave these niggas any kind of money for. To fucking rap, niggas don't even. There's, there's mainstream guys that don't even get paid as much to bat as much as some of these some of the guys get paid. So now you're saying I can agree he could be a little more classy, I guess. But no, the art form is the art form. It has grown into a business partially because of him. So now we're gonna judge the man that started the business based on hip hop. Hip hop. He's like he's of the culture. So now we're gonna again, say that again. now if he was white, what you said was again. Let me finish. Right, go ahead, go ahead. What you said was if he was white that and he, if he was white and he dressed a different way then maybe maybe they would respect him maybe. that yeah but that's totally stupid to me it's ignorance on the battle rapper but i'm not coming at smack and i'm not coming we don't have it's not about smack rappers. it's about what about the, the broad statement it has it's nothing a, to do a, with smack yeah it's, I'm a, saying it's the mentality of as, it's the mentality of the of the nigga thinking i, I that's what right, i'm trying but to the say the nigga thinking is more so the mentality of the of the you trying to say that they are judging him because of him being like them. If you can't respect a man in business that looks exactly like you, who gave you money, who put you in, who put you in in, 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 a, in a spot to win, then you're a fucking sucker. That's like, my point. <laughs> That's my point. No, I'm, I'm saying, yeah, but so you, but you're, but, but you're, um, I'm not, I'm not. Putting no, the you're onus saying on that the, the that the way to resolve that is for him to change his. I image. didn't say he had to change his image. He didn't have to do. He don't have to do anything. Like these battle rappers need to recognize, like it's a guy that's looking out for them and shit. But at the same time, I know for a fact that if he had a different image and he was viewed as a certain way, they wouldn't be doing the nigga shit. That's my whole point. I know they wouldn't be doing the nigga shit. That's just my point. Like his relationship with these battle rappers kind of like hurts hurts him in a way, and that's why. I just I think vision, it's easier vision, to hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm in that I position vision, myself. Listen, listen. I'm, I'm, I didn't finish. I didn't finish though. I didn't finish. I vision. I vision battle rap as of today to be you know bigger than what it is right now. It should because be. Of it him. shouldn't be. Held, yeah, because of him. Right. And it comes to some of the battle rappers because I think he helped some of the some of the battle rappers helped him build. He, he presented the, the platform, platform is what and got all that shit. I get all that, okay. but he don't owe these motherfuckers a dime. He don't owe them nothing and shit. He shouldn't have to babysit none of them. Some of these motherfuckers don't even have bank accounts, and he's up there like saying that um he got to pay them in cash and shit. Now that's crazy. Like you a grown ass man, you don't even have a bank so account. So is that and on shit. him or that not, on them? You're not getting it. I'm not saying it's on him. I'm not blaming but Smack. That's what you. That was your thing. I'm just saying that somebody. I'm, so address if, the battlers. Don't address him. The platform. You didn't even let me get to that. No, my nigga, you said three things, and all you your didn't three let me things get to that though. But you never let me get to that. I was going to get to the battle rapper. I said on, if the battle rappers. Get to it, knew it. Oh, come on, Ray. Get to it. Let me get to it. <laughs> what come I'm on, trying to say is that his listen. What I'm trying to say is that I vision Battle Rap to be in Madison Square Garden by now or fucking MetLife Stadium. Staples. It should be bigger than what it is right now, but being that these niggas is on that nigga shit, being that these niggas are on that nigga shit, and they don't really see Smack as respecting his authority and is and what he's doing and shit, is the fact that it won't go anywhere for the simple fact of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you made me just lose my whole thought and training no, and shit because so I was getting to that point the thing, and you though, up there like... You have to propose... You know Here's the thing, though. People always do this. They make a tax on something without enough... enough well, I preface my let me finish. In the man. They make and a tax on something, but you have to come up with, yeah. a, with a resolution. You can't just be like, he has to do this. What is the... How you solve the problem? Solve it. You have these attacks on him, right? So now you have to come with a resolution. I not on him. On what he's doing, Thank how you. he looks. Now it's, now it's on you. The smart thing to do is to come with a, a sol solve it. How does he solve it? It's Don't not on him. It's on the battle rappers. The battle rappers need to start recognizing like this guy. I said to you in the beginning, I said, yo, in his heart of hearts, I think he want these battle rappers to win. They need to recognize that. But 
Niggas no one ain't been tally. No one ain't tally. Take his drink, Rain. <laughs> Whatever, man. Whatever, man. Like they, niggas gonna say that, but niggas know where I, niggas know my point. I'm trying to like, like real niggas gonna know that I'm trying to the point. I'm trying to make and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like at the end of the day, if they view them a certain way, they wouldn't be doing that nigga shit. I'm mean, actually was kind of trying to come at the battle rappers, and not not all of them, but some of the battle rappers. I was trying to talk about them, but you never got. To get, Gave me a chance to get to that point. You up there saying, you, you, you might as well just call me a lost nigga again. Like, you, you, I know you was going there. No, I wasn't saying lost nigga. But, <clears throat> but I'm all I'm saying, saying is that, that, listen. When people, I feel like you have to step in the shoes. It's easier said than done. Right. So when you offer these things, or you or you have these critiques of, what's, of, 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 of what you see as a person on the outside, then you have to offer a, a, a resolution. You just can't say, like, Get to that. Like, how do you, re- not even how he, how do we resolve Smack it? fucks up, Smack be fucking up, and I'm not blaming Smack, but he, his heart and how he feel about these bad rappers is what fucks him up. Him bailing niggas out of jail when they fuck up on the street, that's on him. Like, he shouldn't be doing shit like that. Him, like, trying to Come give him money. Now. No, that's that's real nigga shit, and I respect that, but at the same time, that's why they always gonna look at you a certain way, like, oh, you one of the homies, good looking, my nigga, like, thanks for bailing me out, thanks for looking out with me for this, oh, I was late to the event, but you know, you I know you got me at the end of the day, because we, we we built this shit together, fuck that shit, And then if he saying? had left his black ass out there, then they'd be like, oh, oh, why Smack you need some out? Shit? You know I swear to God, like, if, if like I said, man, Smack, is, he's more than qualified to lead the charge, like, but he got to address those three Achilles heels he has. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what it all was now. Because you got to put the fans first. Like, if you have a battle at Gnome that everybody wanted to see, Tay Rock versus um, Charlie Clips, and they don't go down, that's not a good look. And it's not, it wasn't even his fault. That's the funny shit. It wasn't even his fault all the way and shit, but it's always going to look like it's your fault. So, him having it at the tobacco lounge and shit and doing a one-off, I mean... And it, that's the reason why they had the same feel. If they had that gnome and everything was structured the right way, because they don't have these type of complaints that can't get a dot. This is what I hear from some of the battle rappers. You know what I'm true. saying? Last week when we, when, when we brought this up, there were people in the chat room that said the same. Same what? These same said the same things. The same because that's not broadcasted. It's so typical for people to want to just like you know attack, attack when you know because now it's other people that, that are thriving in the same culture or whatever. But like, let's you got pe- you going for people from the chat people room. I'm the- going for people from battle rappers who told. Me this personally. So what? That which means so what? They, they on the, the show. Battles. They don't the want saying so that. Now, so now the people in it have, are not valid. I'm not saying they're not valid, Cortez but if they not there, the they're not thing. doing the battles. No, and shit, so I, I say, yeah, so Cortez said the same thing also. So what are you saying? Ryan said that the same things happen at King of the Die. It's just that it's not broadcasted. Exactly. It's more covered up and so it's more what, professionalized. So, so now I'm going by what? I'm going by people that attended events. They said that I went to King of Out events. The same things happen, but it's not broadcasted. These things happen at events. Period. If you a boss, you gotta know how to deal with it. Period. It's that either way, no one's ever gonna be totally satisfied. Right. The fans won't be totally satisfied. The fans wanna see the battles. That's it. Right. Niggas can post up their children, pictures of their children. Niggas on their post like, where's that battle at? Like you know, these fans don't care. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I'm not disputing it. I'm just saying that these things happen at battle events. Period. It's that he's been doing it long, the longest. He's under the most ridicule. You do have some valid points in the fact that, because someone even, someone said that, you know, Smack is not their father. I guess he shouldn't be doing that. So that's a thin line. You try to run your business like a family, and that's what happens sometimes. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, but these battle rapper niggas take that shit for granted. They take his kindness for granted and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, he want to see these niggas win. You had enough? Somebody said, where the hell is Jazz? Yeah, where's Jazz at 40, man? At 11 o'clock. You up there cut me off. Nigga. I can't finish with my thought. I'm trying to come at the battle rappers, and I even get to that point, and you up there just <laughs> curbing me, talking about, Half, what are you talking about? La la la. Come Pump on, man. Your breaks. Ain't nobody got time for that. But I, right. fuck, I love you, Let's man. Let's get into this joint right here. This is an oldie but goodie. Not Jiggly but goodie. Nah, jazz joint. So you, so you mad? You mad, right? You was mad. I'm never mad. I'm always happy. <laughs> I ain't never mad. <laughs> this right here is uh, so you mad for everybody who be mad at Smack and all that. And everybody all that. loves Half. Everybody loves Hef. <laughs> Hef loves everybody, that's for sure. Ooh. Right. Uh, 718-239-9200. We come back. We're going to have my girl Jazz, the rapper. We're going to chop it up with her and have 40 call in since they beasting right now and all that. Yeah, let's, and all get, that. let's get 40. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it.